Hello everybody and welcome to Moscow Report Analysis. This is a new section I've developed after posting the video about the F-35 performance at the red flag exercises. A lot of people were saying the F-35 is a rock star and it can also be a total duck when it comes to being stealthy. Remember, the F-35 is not invisible to radar. Yeah, they're new, they're pretty cool, they fly very fast and they have a reduced radar cross section. But what does that really mean? Let's take a few steps back to the 40s and 50s to World War II when the first radars were built to detect airplanes flying in from Germany to bomb England. That was one of the first radar installations developed and actively used, although Russians will say that we developed radar systems far before that, which is kind of true, but it wasn't actually practically used. But let's focus back on radars. Radars transmit a signal which bounces off an airplane and comes back to the radar. In the 60s and 70s, a Russian scientist, physicist developed an algorithm which calculates how much radar signal will bounce off what kind of a surface. Of course, the Soviet Union totally didn't care about what he wrote. He published his book. It actually ended up in the United States, translated into English, and put the groundwork in place for Skunk Works to develop their first stealth planes. Yeah, so the Russians totally dropped the ball on that idea. And Skunk Works ended up with the F-117 and the B-2 stealth bomber. And then, of course, the F-22 beat out the YF-23 for a stealth fighter design. And personally, I think the YF-23 is a cooler-looking plane. Let me know in your comments what you think about that. Should that be the winner? But let's get back to radars. The Cold War radars are long gone from Russian and Chinese militaries. New radars have been designed to detect stealth planes. This is the Nebo SVU. Nebo means sky in Russian. It operates in a VHF range, which is a different range than what radars operated in the 70s and 80s. It uses highly advanced processors to be able to detect a stealth plane that is flying through its detection range and picks it out of the background noise. Now, in older radars, there was a lot of background noise and the processor simply couldn't see a small plane or a stealth plane from the background information that was filling the radars. Well, now you can filter that out and the radar works in such a fashion that it is able to complement other radars to work together and detect stealth planes. The Nebo will detect a general position of a plane and then other radars will kick in and focus in on it. Now what you're seeing here is the old R18 and the 2D radars. These are the radars that were used by the S-125 missile system. That's the same missile system that the Egyptians were using to shoot down the Israeli phantoms during the wars in the 60s and 70s. This system is not designed to see a stealth plane. But Russia has been making a lot of advances in their radars and microprocessors in order to see stealth planes. And they've developed the doctrine of stacking. The Nebo SVU radars pick up the general location of an incoming airplane. Then that's taken over by a phased array radar, which is able to pinpoint and guide a missile towards it, which is an S-300 or a 400 missile at a range of about 150 kilometers. That's about 100 miles. Then the Buk missile system covers the range of about 30 miles. And closer in at a 20 to 15 mile range, the Tor missile system comes in and is able to take out these planes. Now, the Russian radar network is all tied together. So these radars can guide fighter planes to the general location of an F-22 or an F-35. Complex and integrated system designed to find and kill stealth planes. Remember, the F-117 flew in 1982 for the first time and was first used in 1991. That's 25 years ago. That's a long time in aircraft design. So, what do you think of this video? Do you think the F-35 and the F-22 stand a chance against the Russian stealth detection system? I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Let's keep this discussion going and let me know if you like this analysis video. And next video coming up will be more from the Moscow Report. Today, I'm signing off. Работают все радиостанции Советского Союза. Передаем сообщение.